Hi guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. So today we will be talking about growing raspberry and blackberry and some disease control. It's very easy to grow and I will show you step by step the soil mix, everything that you should know about raspberry and blackberries. Raspberry and blackberry are grow a little differently than other common berries and we often call them cane berry because these plants producing their fruits on canes. So the plant divided in two parts. One is the crown and the other one is the cane. So the crown is the part of the plant that right at the ground level and where the root below the ground. And cane is the part that above the ground. So cane berry, the crown and the root are perennial. So which means that they live and produce new canes year after year. However, the cane that grow up from them are biennial, so which means they only live for two years. So I will be growing raspberry and blackberry in container. And this container is big, you guys. Uh, I would say it's 24 inches uh, width and also 24 inches high. And I got it from Costco. You know, Costco always carry a better quality product with amazing deal. And this big pot is only twenty dollars, um, but I need to drill a lot of holes on the bottom for the drainage. And for some reason, the pot has no holes at all. So I'm using this drill bit, and drills a lot of hole. I would say it about tens on the bottom. You guys, the more holes, the better. Okay. Before I mix the soil, I soak them in water for about an hour or so. Um, and just want to keep their roots moist. Don't let it dry. All right, so I'm using potting mix and this potting mix is organic potting mix and from Miracle Grow. I also got from Costco, you guys, these big bags, only $8. Amazing deal. And the best thing about this soil is they already mix with compost, which is the raspberry and blackberry. They love nutrient rich soil to stay healthy and produce a lot of fruits and i add some perlite and orchard bark and the reason that i add these two ingredients to mix with the soil because raspberry and blackberry they love well-drained soil and then i use this one is the fertilizer for berry you can use any brand uh, you can use berry tone and i only fill about half of the container because it's easy to mix and i feel another half i feel a little bit at a time just want to make sure all the soil are well mixed uh, with all the fertilizer perlite and also the orchard bark all right so soil are well mixed and i leave about a few inches to the top because i want to leave some room for mulch and especially when you water the water will not spill out container and make a lot of mess this is the most important part so when you transplant to make sure that the crown is at or just slightly below the level where it was growing before because raspberry and blackberry have a shallow roots so add about three or four inches layer of organic mulch uh, such as compost pine needle or uh, dry leaf clip grass today i'm using a garden straw for mulching Now time to water. So watering is very essential for the plum and juicy berry. They need about one or two inches of water per week during the growing season. Trellis. Raspberry and blackberry, they grow as one. Bushes. So especially when you grow in container, 
you don't want them to flop all over the place especially raspberry because they have thorn so I'm using this trellis and I tie them around to make sure they grow neatly in container. All right, so done planting and everything looks so good. Uh, so I will be updating with you guys on the progress on how it grows in the next month or so. Hi guys, welcome back. So one month later, look at that. It's produced fruit already. So yesterday, my kids and I harvest a handful of raspberry and we love it. This one is so sweet and I just cannot wait to get more fruits. Look at this. More fruits are coming and it grow a little bit taller. And on this side is the blackberries and just look at all the fruits. And this one grow a lot taller than uh, when I first planted. A lot of new growth and all. Uh, I put it right here at this area because it receives uh, the sun from morning until sunset. And they love full sun areas. So if you plant blueberry either in grounds or in container, make sure you find a place that have a lot of sun. And over here, I also planted one more uh, blackberries, but this one is the bush blackberries. And over this area, receive a full morning sun. Look at that. Look at all the fruits. I am so excited for this one too. If you guys noticed when I showed you earlier, my raspberry uh, got some powdery mildew. So the common disease, uh, raspberry disease, is orange rust and powdery mildew. And powdery mildew, sometimes it got on the leaf and also on the fruits. So gross. I got a couple of the fruits that got affected by the powdery mildew. Just look at this one. Uh, I don't have the orange rust yet. I only have the powdery mildew. And to cure or minimize powdery mildew in the garden, I'm using baking soda. And that's the only thing that I use for curing fungus and some other disease such as tomato disease, tomato blight, uh, powdery mildew on squash zucchini. I only use baking soda and I've been using baking soda spray for years since I have the garden. Uh, and it's very effective, it's organic and it's cheap. So just mix one tablespoon of baking soda with one gallon of water. So since this is a small area, I'm using the hand spray, but I also have the electric spray, which is if I need to spray in a bigger area, it's a lot easier than this small bottle. Uh, when you spray, spray on the top of the leaf, on the bottom of the leaf, and I like to spray in the evening. Or late afternoon when the suns all go down because when you spray in the morning or when you spray during the sunlight the sun will damage your the leaf uh, so some people spray really early in the morning but I found that spraying in the late afternoon it's more effective for me I spray every day for a few days or you spray until you notice that the problem is gone and if you only have a couple of the leaves you can just prune out the leaf and it should be no more problem so i will end the raspberry and blackberry video right here but before letting you go i want to update with you guys with all the strawberry and blueberry that i planted two months ago for this bed i planted about two months ago and if you want to go back and um, watch the video on how i first planted the strawberry and blueberry uh, i will link in the description below and just look at all the fruit we harvest every single day and the reason that i'm using the uh, organza bag because it's protecting from birds from rodent at night and especially my dog i don't really have problem with rodent at night uh, maybe I have some birds. I have a lot of birds in the garden uh, because I feed them. <laughs> uh, so I'm using organza bag mainly to protect the fruit from my dog because Lucky, my dog, his name is Lucky and he loves strawberries so much. This strawberry growing really well in a very short time and producing a lot of fruits. 
So when I bag uh, the fruits, I only bag when the flowers become the fruit. Uh, so do not bag them while the flowers still blooming because you want to leave the flowers for the bees to pollinate. Uh, and after that, you can start back uh, all the fruits. And it will grow in there really nice and your strawberry come out so clean. So I'm going to harvest all the red one. Uh, today and then there's maybe a few more that may be ready for tomorrow. It's such a perfect garden snack So this one is the strawberry vertical garden that I planted last month I would say about two weeks ago and it's produced a lot of fruits already and this is the runner It's already grow off a lot of runner So you if you remember that I always leave that one pocket empty for this purpose so when the runner start growing, I can just put the runner, let it grow in that pocket. Uh, I can, it can fit a couple uh, of the runners in one slot. And a lot of fruit growing so well. Just look at all those fruits. Look. So this one, I'm not back them yet because the flowers still, uh, they still have the blooms attached. And this one, I bag them a oh, look at that oh uh, the strawberry this this variety is, uh, is Alban strawberry I only grow the one variety this one I really love it a lot uh, it's very sweet crunchy and very tasty and I love this tower so much I've been using this in the beginning of my garden a oh, beautiful day you guys a little bit windy in the evening and we still in the June gloom very less sun each day but sometime when we have the sun show up it's really warm oh that's my dog that's lucky uh, he loves to drink water from but that I clean every day okay so don't worry <laughs> I clean those bird bath and refill fresh water every single day. And we have water for him, but he just enjoy the water from the bird bath. All right, so Lucky, here's your strawberry. Here's your treat. Sit. Lucky, Lucky, sit. Come on. All right. He's nine years old, guys. And during the strawberry season, I have to block the garden. <laughs> I put the chair, block the garden so he cannot get in. Because I'm so worried that he snatched the strawberry so hard that my vertical garden maybe can fall over and making a lot of mess. So it's possible. So that's why I block the chair there. All right, you guys, so I'm going to end the video right here and I hope you enjoy your day and enjoy the video. And if you have any questions, just drop in the comment below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you so much for watching.